Hey everybody, this is Kressel Snapdragon with another Discord bot tutorial. This tutorial is specifically going to be aimed at creating events, and events are just things that occur automatically if, for instance, a member joins the server or a member leaves the server. So a lot of people want to learn how to create a welcome event, so that would occur when someone joins the server. And I went through a lot of pre-made welcome event commands and they didn't work. And so I have created one that does work. I'm going to give you the raw data for it and then I'll show you how to customize it to your server. So the first thing you want to do is go to my GitHub repository. The link will be down in the info. And you'll see that I've organized them a little bit here. And you're going to want to go to the welcome event. Here's the welcome message. Just copy this raw data. And then you're going to go to create new event, edit raw data, and then you're going to paste it right here. Once that's done, this is what you're going to see. It's going to automatically generate all this information. It's going to give it a name. It's going to give it an event trigger, which is when the member joins the server. And it's also going to store it in a temporary variable. And a temporary variable is just a temporary storage of information that we're going to pull from later. So here I have all the actions for the event to take place. I don't suggest making too many changes to them because again, it's really finicky. And I went through tons of commands that people had already made and none of them worked and I had to sit there and I had to fix them. So this works. So all you have to do is just make a few changes to personalize it to your server and then maybe later on we can do some more advanced event building. So I'm just going to show you how to personalize this. So if we start at action one, this is the find channel by channel name. So the channel name that you want it to generate the event in, you want to put it here. And then I'm storing it in a temp variable called new member. Now if the channel exists, this is what this is checking for. It's basically a condition and it's pulling the channel name out of this new member temp variable, checking if the channel name exists. And I'll show you how to make all this for regular commands, which aren't as finicky as the events. So I'll show you what all this means. But I wanted to make the events video pretty quickly because this is what people have the most trouble with. So if you have the welcome channel or the designated channel that you want the event to spawn in, it's gonna be true and it'll jump to action four. If false, it's actually going to spawn the channel for you. So you want to make sure you put the channel name here as well, store it under the temp variable, new member. And so here, this is going to create an embedded message. And I'll make a video dedicated to showing you how to create an embedded message. But here, just customize it for now. So here, this is going to create the look of the embedded message. You give it a title. You can give it a color. This is an HTML hex number. I'll give you a link where you can get those numbers. And then I just found your typical GIF URL here, but you can also use a JPEG and a PNG. Just make sure it has the dot source here. And then you want to store it in a message variable. So again, a temp variable is just a temporary storage that we're eventually going to pull the information out from again. So we're storing the look of the embedded message here. And then when we go here, set embed description, this is going to be the body of the text for the embedded message. So you'll see here, it has temp variable member. This is going back here where we stored the member that joined under the temp variable member. So this is going to generate their name. And then I just wrote a personalized message. Please start by introducing yourself in the introductions channel. If you are here for technical help, please go to Discord bot help or RPG maker help or mix it up help. Thanks for joining. And you can actually do a lot of things. If you, for instance, wanted to make this bold, we can do that too by using asterisks. Now we can also do a few other things. If you want to tell your new member what number they are in the Discord, we can actually do that as well. So here we have to create another temporary variable. We're going to go to create, send message. We're going to go to store server info, leave it on current server, 
but then go to server member count and we're going to save it as a variable name called count here and now make sure that okay now what we're going to do is go back in here and we're going to say hi new member you are Mm, server member number and then we're going to say insert a temp variable we're going to insert count please start by introducing yourself in the introductions channel if you're here for technical help go here here and here so that's what our message is going to say and then what we have to do is set it so that the embedded message is actually sent. So to do that, I have the send embed message, all that is set up. So really the only things that you have to customize are the channel name, and here as well if you change it, the description of the embedded message, and the look of the embedded message. You shouldn't have to change anything else. Now we're going to save it, and I'll show you what happens. So I have my channel here. This is what it looked like originally. You can see that it welcomed me six here. But now let's watch it and see if it welcomes PokeCord. There it is. And now it's bold, as you can see. It says, hi there, your server member number 179. Please start by introducing yourself in the introductions channel. If you're here for technical help, please go to either Discord bot help RPG Maker help or Mix It Up help, thanks for joining. So that's how we set your standard welcome event in an embedded message. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create an RIP event if somebody leaves the server. So we're actually just going to clone the welcome message and then just change it a little bit to be an RIP message instead. So now over here we're going to call it RIP message. This is going to be when somebody leaves the server, you can leave the temp variable the same. Now here, I have my channel that I'm going to spawn this in locked, so this isn't going to work. So instead, what I want to do is go to choose the channel ID instead. And how you get that is first you got to go to user settings, and you got to go to appearance, and then turn on developer mode. And once that's done, if you right click on the channel name, it has copy ID. So now I've copied the channel ID, and we're going to do rip new member. Okay, technically we're not going to need these, so I'm going to get rid of them. We also don't really need the embedded messages, so we're going to strip it down to the bare minimum and just send your typical message here. We're going to send it in the temp variable, did I create the temp variable here, rip member. So it's going to send it to that channel and it's going to say insert temp variable member that I got from here has left the server sad day and I think we're going to make it bold as well create action and that's all we should have to do let's go ahead and run the project and let me see what happens if I kick somebody out of the server. So we're going to kick PokeCord out of the server. Let's make sure it's running here. Okay, so now it's told me when someone has left the server. Now what we can also do is clone rip message and do ban message. So if a moderator, for instance, bans a user I'll know. So we're going to say member banned. So whenever a member is banned, we'll do the channel ID is going to be the same. I'm going to leave it as moderation here. And I'm going to say member has been, been banned from the server. So member has been banned from the server. And we'll keep it bold. That should work. Okay, so that is it for creating just basic, simple events. 
I can get into more advanced events in later videos, but I wanted to get the basics of it out of the way as soon as possible. In the next video, I'll show you how to create embedded messages that look really pretty. Again, if you just want to download the raw data and customize them, please go to my GitHub repository. Again, I have them all categorized here, and I'll put the events in here. All right, thanks for watching. I really hope that helped.